This video will discuss the benefits of image averaging and how to use it. When enabled, image averaging computes the running average of pixel temperature values of live captured thermal images. Increasing the image averaging value decreases pixel noise, but will reduce the ability to measure thermal transients as more images are averaged. Values for image averaging range from none to 128 images and can be selected from this dropdown. To enable image averaging, toggle the averaging button to on. Here are some tips for when to use image averaging. If you are focusing the camera, be sure to turn off image averaging. If you are performing a lock-in thermography test, image averaging can be left on. Only the live images before image averaging are used for lock-in tests. If you are measuring a moving object or an object with a rapidly changing temperature, a low image averaging value is recommended. This is because lower image averaging values decrease response times. Click the link in the description for more information on this topic.